Are you manually updating and managing your Google Sheets? Well, with Paperform, you can automate your manual tasks, streamline your workflow, and spend more of your time doing what you love. G'day there, Alex here from Paperform to show you how you can automate your workflow and get back to the important things. Now, connecting Paperform and Google Sheets is incredibly easy and will save you a ton of time and hassle, so follow me. Now, open the form editor of the form you want to connect to Google Sheets. Navigate to After Submission, Integrations and Web Hooks. Below Direct Integrations, select Google Sheets and select Add Row to Sheet. You'll be redirected to the integration setup where you'll need to connect your Google account. So select the Add Account button and log in to authorize the connection. Now, time to find the sheet you want to automatically populate. Select the drive, select the sheet, and then select the specific worksheet. Hot tip, if you want to create a spreadsheet from your form submissions and then update this moving forward, just navigate to share, results, and select export. Your submission data will be waiting for you as a CSV file, which you can open in Google Sheets. Now, your Sheets columns should be visible. If you can't see any columns here in your setup, make sure your spreadsheet actually has columns, like we have here, and if you still can't see it, select the refresh icon to the right of the columns section. Now, time to map your form data to your spreadsheet columns. Select this icon to the right of a column field to display the submission data available. This will dynamically pull your submitter's responses and update your Google Sheet in real time. Work your way through all columns. There we go. Once you're happy and have finished, click the send test button at the bottom to test out the action. But for the send test button to work, you must have at least one recent submission on your form. If you don't, just run a test submission first. If an issue occurs during the test, an error message will inform you of what needs to be fixed. Otherwise, you can continue. You can set logic rules to trigger the integration under certain conditions. You may only want to update your Google Sheet if a submitter responds to a question with a specific answer. All that is left is to select Finish Setup, and you are done. All integrations for a specific form will be visible at the top of the page, and you can turn off an integration at any time. Select the gear icon to edit the integration if you want to make changes. View a history of past actions, duplicate or delete. It is that simple. So make sure you sign up for our 14 day free trial today and learn how you can automate your workflows and get back to the important things. Also like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos and updates on everything paper form. Good luck.